Hey you guys, welcome to the New York Fashion Week vlog, yes! Okay, it's been a crazy past couple of hours. I did my makeup in the taxi, just checked in the hotel. Now I have to go to the Rebecca Minkoff presentation. Then we have the Kalina Strata show. I am so excited. I'm wearing some fun stuff today. This is a Coperni top. These jeans are by Height Peach. I don't know why this thing is happening. It's really not cute. Chanel sunglasses, Amazon rings, and Emma Pills earrings and Nadri earrings. So, full situation, purple lipstick, we got some blue. I'm excited, let's go. The view from outside my window. And there's a really cool Koss billboard. By the way, I think Koss is having a show here. I mean, I don't, I'm not going, but I heard that they're having something. So that's interesting. Okay, you guys, quick update. So I was not able to go to the Rebecca Minkoff presentation because we were a little bit late. There's so much traffic in New York, so I'm just headed to the Colina Strada runway show. And then maybe afterwards, if we have time and the presentation for Rebecca Minkoff is still going on, then we'll go there afterwards. But let's go to the Kalina Strata show. I'm trying to maintain my calmness and composure, but the traffic is a little insane. Let's go. So yesterday we went to the Kalina Strata show. I hope I'm, let me look at the camera. Yesterday we went to the Kalina Strata show. It was really fun. I'm so sad that I missed the Rebecca Minkoff presentation, but like I landed, like I don't know if I told you the story yesterday, but I landed. Thankfully the Newark airport had a huge bathroom. So I went and I changed and did my hair in the bathroom. Then I got in the taxi, opened my entire handbag, took out all my makeup and was doing my makeup in the taxi on the way to the hotel, got to the hotel, had like three minutes to check in and then fixed my hair again, called an Uber and left. I called the Uber to the Rebecca Minkoff place and then as luck would have it, I was not gonna get there in time. So then I just went straight to Kalina Strata, which was an amazing show. Like, hold on, I actually don't wanna, I'm gonna like meal this way. Let's talk about the Kalina Strata show. It was outstanding first of all it was based on the idea of the life cycle of a butterfly all the stages that a butterfly goes through and i think that's so beautiful also the location really reminded us that it is so important to stay true to mother earth so sorry guys my camera keeps running out of storage but anyways the kalina strata show wow it was actually held at a place that was a former cemetery turned monarch butterfly preserve so it was very on theme there were lots of sustainable moments in the show there was a lot of dead stock denim and satin and a lot of just like reused materials which I thought was amazing. You could see that there was a lot of that, you know, flowery butterfly garden-esque essence to the clothes. Everything was very flowy. You had a lot of transparent light colors and the weirdest, craziest, most viral thing was the broccoli bag. Yes, she made a handbag that looked just like a broccoli. Speaking of broccoli, doesn't my eyeshadow kind of feel like a broccoli moment today? I don't know. Anyways, since we talked about yesterday, let's talk about today. Today I'm really excited because I have two events that are so different from the normal fashion runway show. I'm going to the Revolve Gallery. I am actually partnering with them for a like real situation and they sent me some amazing stuff to wear. So these pants and this top and I have a lot of other stuff from Revolve that I was going to wear today but I decided this was it. And then after that, I'm actually going to be going to the YouTube Shorts Remake the Runway moment that they're having here, which is going to be super exciting. I've loved being a part of the YouTube Shorts team and community and seeing what they have to offer. I think it's cool that they're having something in the Fashion Week realm, and I think it's also cool that it's centered around sustainability, so that will be super exciting. Okay, these earrings are Emma Pills. This top is from Revolve, the pants are from Revolve. This and this are actually Playboy necklaces. 
that I've just turned into a belt and bracelets. All right, so thing one, Revolve Gallery. Thing two, YouTube Shorts. And thing two, YouTube Shorts remake the runway moment. Let's go. morning guys okay i like don't wanna hmm okay so it's actually <laughs> day four of fashion month no week i want to chat about what i did yesterday because i really wanted to take an intentional day like full day break to sit yes edit content a little bit but also like reflect on what i'm doing because Fashion week is like here, there, here, there, you're running. And everyone in every vlog you'll see everyone talk about, oh, I ran here and I did this and I changed in the car. And yes, that's all like it happens. But I think like there are moments and sometimes you can just ch take out a chunk of time to yourself. I think that's super important. You can be intentional about it. And that's what I did yesterday. Hang on one sec. This is better. So as I was saying, that is what I did yesterday. And I feel so much better today. I feel so much more refreshed. Um, in fact, I got to reassess what I'm doing the next two days, like today and tomorrow, and realize that I don't need to do every single thing that I had on the list. And in fact, some other things came up. So then I was like, you know, just able to reprioritize and just reset. Because I think that's so important when you're running all over the place to check in and be like, why am I really doing this? What am I really doing? And I even kind of like started writing like mini captions as to like, why fashion week means so much to me because sometimes you can forget you get very frustrated i mean it's a beautiful energy in new york but there's also i'm not gonna lie there's a little bit of a weird energy sometimes when you enter a show and you know people are like who are you what do you do there's a little bit of sizing up that happens which i try to i try to ignore that but sometimes in somewhere you know energy and vibes do affect you so yeah it's important to recenter understand why you're here and do the things that align with your purpose and that kind of help help your why i would say you don't have to do everything just because you are here and just because you are invited doesn't mean you have to do it so that's my little spiel about yesterday it just took a day to reset and today exciting stuff on the agenda astrid and miu which is a jewelry company invited me in to get a piercing which is going to be so interesting i mean during new york fashion week they're having like a really different kind of like piercing situation so they invited me and i was like might as well get another piercing I'm thinking like a third ear piercing, like somewhere here, right here. After that, we have the Kanika Goya label presentation, KGL presentation. So I have a day full of like really cool South Asian designers in New York who are very well known. They're doing amazing. They're not a part of this like whole new South Asian New York fashion week thing that's happening. That is like fully like South Asian clothes. These designers are a little bit more like Western. Oh, yeah. Kanika Goyal presentation and then after that I'm gonna take you backstage at a fashion show in New York. The Bibu Mahapatra SS23 presentation. Wow, that's a mouthful. The way people here pronounce it is Bibu Mahapatra, but the Desi and me knows a little bit better. So of course I'll show you everything, beauty, nails, um, clothes, hair, whatever I can backstage and I'll try to see if I can, if the designer is there, if I can maybe ask him a couple questions, we'll see. And maybe we can ask some of the models some of the questions too. So that is that. All right, let's go. Outfit details. This is by Michael Costello X Revolve. Roberto Cavalli pants, Dior scarf up here. I'm gonna take these Alexander McQueen sunglasses and then I'm gonna take my yellow Bottega cassette bag, which is actually right here. It needs to be closed, but this one. And Vivian Westwood shoes, which I'll show you later. Measuring and marking. Isn't that in February? Like, I'm like, I clearly don't. I'm like, when I watched Gossip Girl, like, I swear it was winter when they were like, <laughs> when Serena Vanderson was up in the front row. And the I whole feel thing. like it's always Fashion Week somewhere. Oh, 100%. Because yeah. you've got LA, you've got Paris, you've got Italy, you've got UK. Yeah. 
For the fashion world, I don't know how y'all keep up. I just out I, here stabbing people. Even, I don't know when things happen and then I realize like, oh, I missed it. That's perfect. Yeah. Was over, like, no pain, but no, it's gonna be quick, I promise. Uh All right, I want you to just take a very deep breath in and let go. Then you go there. Yeah, no, it was quick. I told you. It hurt way less than the cartilage piercing. Always. Yeah. Lobes are a lot more chill. Lobes are, you know, they're just basically fleshy skin, essentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not going through as much. Mm -hmm. Got through it, so. All right, darling, I want you to take a deep breath in again and let go. There you go. Just got done shooting, or not shooting, but visiting Bibu backstage and watching the show. Oh my god, so many thoughts, but first I need to tie my hair because it's so hot outside. Okay, so let's start with the models. First of all, they're really sweet. They let you take as many photos of them as you want. Of course, not when they're changing because that they like everyone backstage will ask you to put your cameras away while they're changing but while they're doing hair makeup and then the cool thing about the nail company is that they're vegan they're cruelty free and basically it was like a lot of fun and my favorite part is that the nails were blue and they were such a beautiful blue like well you guys who follow me know especially on instagram you know that blue is my favorite color so it was nice to see the nails were blue they looked really nice and versatile like they didn't look over the top top but it had a little bit of a fun element to it and like i think there's something to be said about like vegan and cruelty free formulas that actually can be fun because sometimes people think vegan cruelty free boring not so fun not true in fact they did like this really cool foil technique on the nail they were kind of touching it up like right before the show too like just making sure everything looked perfect and then they also put like cuticle oil around the nails which was cool I got to meet the designer too, but more thoughts on the collection tomorrow. I'm tired, I'm gonna drink water and call it a day. See you tomorrow. Morning guys. <laughs> All right, so today let's talk about what the plan is. I'm actually going to the YouTube headquarters, which is gonna be super exciting. Hang on, I'm gonna put this up like this. Yeah, cooler. And I'm gonna meet the cast of The Come Up. It's gonna be airing on Freeform. And I'm meeting the cast. We're gonna film some cool, really interesting content. And that's gonna be really fun. So a different thing from like a fashion week sort of situation. But right after that, we're going to the Akinvis presentation. I actually went to that presentation last season as well. And it was very cool. So it's a brand that sells on like a lot of these I guess like high-end websites and, and their clothes are really usually very colorful very like high quality luxury so I'm excited to see what they have now I don't like my top like this I like it down let me show what I'm wearing today so this is an etro scarf these pants are stand up <gasps> red pants by Marc Jacobs this is a men's shirt from Uniqlo and then I just need to figure out what to do with like accessories necklace we definitely need a necklace because this is looking very bare um, and then maybe some earrings so we will do that and then I just put my hair in like because I didn't have time to think about anything I just put it in a bubble braid situation I actually have to check out before I leave for the you 
YouTube event. And I promised you guys that we would talk about the collection yesterday by Bibu Mahapatra. Okay, so lots of different thoughts that I have. Number one, I really think that yellow color that I coincidentally was wearing to the show was a key color in his collection. He had lots of blacks, whites, the yellow, and then a really beautiful blue, the same blue as the nails that you saw being done backstage. The first thing that my mind gravitates towards whenever I see a collection is color, and then second would probably be like silhouette and cut. So moving more to like silhouette and cut, I would say there were a lot of pleats. He, he's known for a little bit more of like formal dressing. He doesn't do the whole like more street style stuff, which is a key difference between KGL's presentation and then his show. So as you can see, like both South Asian designers, but still very different sense of aesthetics. And I think that just goes to show that like South Asia is such a diverse place in terms of how people think and I'm really excited to head to the YouTube headquarters. I've never been to any YouTube headquarters. It's gonna be super fun. So let's go. guys thank you all so much for watching my New York Fashion Week vlog it has been so fun I think this is my favorite fashion week yet I kind of feel like I say that probably every fashion week but it always gets better and better right and now I'll see you guys in Paris I guess <laughs> okay bye thanks for watching